Hello, I am back with another thrift haul finally. I went to one of my favorite thrift stores that I hadn't been to in a while. I think I did pretty good. I got 72 items and each item came out to exactly $3 per item. And I am excited to uh, show you what I got. So let's get into it. First up is this really cute kind of cropped teddy jacket from Urban Outfitters. And it is a size extra small. And it's got this really cute kind of junk, chunky, chunky zipper on it. Uh, kind of out of season, but you know what? I'm just going to accept that about myself. I don't care about the seasons, apparently. I thought I did, but I don't, and I will just buy anything. Next up is the first time finding this brand. This is a really great men's 100% merino wool quarter zip pullover. I will say that it's not soft merino wool. It's like that scratchy, but I think... I think that's okay because it's meant to be like more of an outdoorsy thing and this is from the brand Mountain Khakis and this is a size medium. The comps on this brand are really really great so if you see it, it might be worth your time to look it up. This might be my favorite kind of find of the day not because I think it's gonna get me a great return I just thought it was really cool. This is a vintage REI snap pullover fleece men's size um large but this thing has never been worn i'm seeing a little bit of a shadow mark right there which i'll just have to note in the listing but i don't know if you can tell it has it is incredibly soft there's absolutely no pilling like this has never been washed or worn it is in such great condition so i had to grab it next up is another really great outdoors brand this is Outdoor Research. Um, it's pretty pricey and they sell it at places like REI. But this is like an older style kind of jersey stretch knit hoodie. This is a woman's size medium. All right, I grabbed these Carters. Or Carters. Wow. Carhartt. <laughs> Carters is a child's brand. Carhartt jeans. These are a men's size 40 by 32 and these are fire resistant which you can see the fr right there um these can be pretty pricey usually when people buy fire resistant clothing it's like a work or safety requirement um so they should do pretty good i really like picking up this brand usually in large sizes but i didn't want to leave these behind these are these cute little camo cropped joggers from Ooh, get the tag. Logo, Lori Goldstein, and these are a size medium. And they're kind of like a really soft terry jersey knit. Really great condition. Okay, next up is this striped poncho. Are ponchos still in? I feel like it's a very specific person who wants them, but I didn't want to leave this behind because it's Barefoot Dreams and if you've ever felt it, you know how soft it is. And yeah, I'm, there's somebody out there. This is really cute if you're into ponchos. Okay, this men's foot joy size large polo, kind of like a navy and gray stripe. I think comps on things like this are around $25. I found these really cute kind of that you know, summery light wash Bermuda shorts with a cuff and raw hem from Lane Bryant. And these are a size 24, so super great size. Okay, I've never come across this brand before, but the comps looked pretty promising. This is Johnny O, men's extra large, just like a kind of lightweight kind of outdoorsy material polo and it is new with tags and it's got like a UPF 50 on there. So I am excited to get this one listed and see how it does. Next is a brand I love picking up, Torrid. I am trying to stay with 2X or larger sizes, really trying to stay within 3X and larger, but you know, this is new with tags, kind of a slub knit open front cardigan. And they wanted $45.50 for this. 
and I have to say, I don't know how Tor gets away with these prices because although their clothing is cute and I, it's a, you know, a niche sizing market, I suppose, um, their quality, I don't think is that great. So I, I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I, I don't really think Tor has the best quality. Maybe their jeans are pretty good, but I feel like everything else is kind of like, it doesn't have a very long lifespan. But this is cute, new with tags. This was another exciting find. This is Black Halo. And this is new without tags. It still has the metal ring on there, but there's no paper tags. This is just a nice sheath dress. And I don't know if it has the style name in there. There is a very popular style, the Jackie O dress by them. It has a very big following. Let's see, this is a size two. No, there's no um, style name, but I have a style number. Next are these just a little pair of kind of legging style yoga shorts from Prana. Just, uh, let's see here, size large. These probably won't get very much, but you know, the season is right. Another pair of kind of like a yoga short, but these ones are got the, you know, pockets and things on them. Bermuda length. These are older style, older tag, Athleta, size medium. I think I've heard that that Bermuda style is coming back. So we'll see how these do, even though they're an older tag, I still think they'll move pretty fast. This is a brand I don't think I've ever picked up before, but the season's right for this one. This is a old tagger, vintage tag Talbots, size 16, 100% Irish linen, and I don't think this has ever been washed. It's just got that really crisp feel to it, and it's a great size, and you know, linen always does amazing during summer, springtime, so I think it should do well. I think it should do well. Next up is this Rachel Roy collection, kind of a blazer. This is a XXL, and it's a window pane kind of cropped blazer. Really cute. I know there's two lines of Rachel Roy. They have Rachel, Rachel Roy, which is like the lower end and the comps on those items are usually around $20. This is the higher end, I believe. I did not look up comps on this particular jacket, but I believe as long as it's like a newer style, the Rachel Roy collection can do pretty well, depending on the style that I think that this is a very on-trend style. So, and it's a super great size. So I think this one should do well. Next up is a brand of jeans I do like picking up. Um, they're very expensive retail. The resale on them isn't great, but I do feel like they do move fairly quickly, two to three months for me. Um, these are men's J brand. Just kind of like a relaxed or a slim straight maybe and they are size 36. The style name is Kane. This really cute Madewell chambray dress. It's kind of got these slit pockets right here, long sleeve, shirt dress style. This is a older Madewell style, so there's the tag. Size extra small, but this is pretty classic. I think it should move pretty fast. This is a new brand for me. I found two pairs of this brand. This is just like a high rise, kind of maybe like a slim straight. I don't think these are necessarily skinny. I don't know, is it doer, dwar? When I looked up comps, there was a couple different ways these were listed. One was just like this du slash er. The other was just no slash, just d-u-e-r. And the other was under dish denim. I don't know anything about Dish Denim or this brand. I think maybe Dish Denim changed their name or this might be a brand under Dish Denim. The retail on them is pretty expensive. The resale value on these were pretty solid too. So I picked them up. This is a size 28. So I will have to do more research on what to list them under so that they get the most eyes on them. But 
they're pretty solid and you know they got that thick leather tag on the back too so I'm excited to see how these do the the comps on them looked pretty good this is a really cute I think this is a bathing suit and not a bodysuit because there's no snaps but this is just a Zara size medium one shoulder bodysuit or swimsuit because it's definitely swimsuit material it's got this cute ruffle and this textured kind of ribbed material really cute and another Zara piece this is kind of like a knit really kind of I don't know if you could see the texture on the white it's kind of like that mohair kind of fuzzy texture long sleeve oversized boxy blouse but the back has cinching right here with this really cool kind of rope I just thought that was really cool and it's a good size I think it's a large yep a large I found so much Lululemon this trip, more than I've ever found at one time before. Um, my best pieces are still coming up, but these are a cute pair of uh, Wonder Unders. I think they're older style because when I look at the size dot, there's no style number. They're a size six. They look to be about mid-rise and they've got this really cool floral paneling in the front. So those should do good. They're really cute. I also found quite a few pieces of Offline by Aerie and they're all size small or extra small. Um, I think this might be a bathing suit top. I don't know if that line does bathing suits, but I think because it's bathing suit material. It's got this cute kind of roughly straps. So this sports bra, but I think it's a bathing suit top. I'll have to look it up. Next up are these J. Crew jeans. These are the Vintage Straight and they've got some great distressing on them. And they are size 27. So this is that other pair of Doer or Door, I don't know, jeans. But these ones are really cool. They're straight leg and they've got some cargo pocket styling on them. Really, really cute. And these are also a size 28, I think. Yep, size 28. This is a style of Prana um, pants that I've sold two or three times before. They're kind of like a lightweight textured stretch mm, polyester kind of material and moto style. So they're outdoorsy, but styled, quick dry. And these are a size two. I forget what the style is called, but it does have a uh, following or it's a pretty popular style. These are Torrid Premium Jeans, size 18, and they are just a black high rise skinny, which I think is a nice classic staple. And here is another airy offline. This is an extra small kind of cropped uh, baggy tank. And it's got this cool like stonewash texture on it and you know all these Ari pieces that I picked up um, I'm not expecting too much probably between 15 to 18 dollars but because they're newer um, I think they'll get a little bit more attention when I list them another pair of Prana cropped leggings these kind of got like that space dye print on them and these are a size large I think these are about high rise I think these are high rise so another re offline these are those crossover front high super high rise leggings size small and they've got this cool kind of bleach uh, tie-dye on them which is super trendy right now okay so I this is the Lululemon that I was very excited to find. I think someone just got rid of their whole entire tank top collection by them. So I've got, I think I found seven size 12 all black tanks by Lululemon and they're all different styles. The problem is, is um, that's my size. <laughs> so I struggled a lot. I kept two, so those are already in my closet but I will show you the rest that I decided not to keep. Um, this is subject to change, so if they don't make it to being listed, you know why. <laughs> so first up is just this lightweight racer back with this mesh paneling, loose fit tank. Only one of them has a size tag in it still, um, 
but they're all size 12. They're all from the same person. The second one is another kind of baggy long tank with this cool crossover mesh paneling in the back. And there is the logo. I'm gonna have to look up all these styles, but they look to be newer styles to me. At least the ones that I kept, I know for a fact that they're newer styles. So I'm excited to see how these do. I'm hoping because of the size and if they're newer styles, they might sell closer to $30. And usually Lululemon tanks sell between 15 to 18. So fingers crossed. This is just a swiftly racer back. And if you have a swiftly tank tee long sleeve, it'll be hard to tell because this is black, but usually it's like embroidered into the hem underneath. And I don't know if you can see it. There's usually like some cute little saying. Let's see if I can find where it says 12. There it is. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because let's see if we can. There it is. One. Do you see that? So definitely size 12. This is a cute little perforated cropped baggy kind of wide strap tank. And this is the one that has the rip tag in it still. And then the last one is another kind of wide strap with a mesh tank. You can see the logo. So yeah, I'm excited about those ones. I think that was my most exciting find of the day as far as, um, well, we'll see because I'm going to keep them, but selling them. <laughs> this is a really cute maxi with this like, what do they call that? Like a ruffle hem? Um, halter dress from a Shakti. I don't have this in the best way to show it off, but you can see it ties around the neck. It's got that cute white and kind of purpley blue stripes. There is the tag, which is down by the hem, a Shakti. And this is a size extra large. This is a really nice Iviva um, girls jacket, size 10. And if you don't know, Iviva is the child line in Lululemon. And the logo is kind of like this triangle pointy thing. But this is a long sleeve purple and it's completely lined in that fur, even down in the sleeves. And it's got a snap neck like that. And then it just is open on the bottom. This cute little workout bra and this really soft like sherbet tangerine color from Free People Movement. And this is a size extra small. This is a swim top from the brand Courtney Jean, size medium. And Courtney Jean is a swimwear company. They are mostly known for their kind of offbeat, full coverage swim separates. So everything is bought separately, mix and match, and they've just got really great patterns and cuts. It appeals to more of like a modest crowd or somebody who wants more coverage in their swimwear. So I think this should still do okay, even though it's kind of plain, because everything is sold separate and it's all mix and match. These are some wide leg kind of yoga, yoga material, that stretch material pants from Life is Good, a woman's size large. I do pretty good with this brand in t-shirts and things like that as long as the size is larger. So I'm hoping size large on these, we should still do okay. The wide leg or the boot cut yoga pants are really back in. So we will see how these do. These are really pretty like pastel rainbow tie dye bike shorts. And pretty cool because it is a free people movement and onesie collab. And these are a size medium large. All right, I wouldn't have picked this up, um, but the size is really why I did. And it's an airy, extra large, kind of soft flannel blouse. It's got kind of like that drop ruffle hem oversized look. 
Here is another mountain khaki piece. These are men's khakis in a size 32, 34. And like I said, the comps on these are really good. So if you come across it, I would look them up. This is a workout wear company built. I believe this is a men's. This is a um, size medium, just like t-shirt. I have sold this once before. It sold really quickly, so I'm hoping the same for this one. Next up is my girl, Eileen Fisher. I love finding her. This is a size medium, and it's kind of like in between a waffle knit or a rib knit, and it is, let me double check, 100% extra fine merino wool but the texture of it almost feels like it's like a nylon knit so yeah kind of uh unique next up is a newer j crew piece because of the cursive this is just like a poplin cotton button up long sleeve but the unique aspect is this is fabric from liberty london and that Fabric House uh, creates really, really unique, fun prints. And they do a lot of collabs and those collabs tend to be extremely popular. So even though this is just a size two, I expect this to do somewhat well. This is a really cute peasant style blouse, the tie cuff hem from Lucky Brand, size two X. Really lightweight, this would be a great summer top. Just another pair of my favorite bread and butter basics, American Eagle high rise skinny jeans. These are a size eight, I think. Yep, size eight. These are really cute from American Eagle as well. They are size small, but they are high rise paper bag waist chambray kind of tapered elastic leg pant really cute perfect for the summer lightweight this is a free people beach kind of long sleeve super 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 long <laughs> cowl neck this is a really popular piece i've come across it a few different times um if you happen to come across it i've seen this listed weirdly before so free people beach tag and it says one body and people think that means one size but this comes in two different sizes so one body is actually a small medium and two body is medium or large extra large or this might be extra small small and two body is medium large so if you get this it is not a one size item there are two different sizes, just in case, just in case. <laughs> this really cute sheath dress from Lulu's, size medium, long sleeve, beautiful floral with kind of like a bubble sleeve and then some cutout right there. I love selling this brand. It's a solid $20 to $30 sell. Like I said, I typically don't really like picking up this brand unless it's like a large and up, but this is logo, Lori Goldstein size, medium. This is just in such great condition and really cute. It is a waffle knit floral print t-shirt. This is a brand I've sold once before. I'm not going to attempt to say that. Well, maybe I will attempt. Lung Lungo Liarno, made in Italy, size medium. I think they only do 100% linen pieces. So this is a really cute mustard yellow tunic length ruffle hem, three quarter sleeve. And you know, like I and a million other people say, linen, 100% linen is like a yes on almost any brand during the summertime. Here's another really popular free people piece. This is intimately free people size medium. This is that kind of trapeze swing dress with this lace inset. This bathing suit, although it may look a little dated, is from the brand Miracle Suit, is also known as Magic Suit. 
This has an extremely big following. It's very, very sought after. Even styles that might look a little dated. This one has underwire in the cups. It was a size 14. These one pieces have a really strong resale value of between like 35 to 50, just depending on style and size. So if you see that tag, Miracle Suit or Magic Suit, definitely consider picking it up, especially during summertime. They are great sellers. I just sold two this last week, one after the other, 35 and 45. These are really cute, like fancy track pants. They've got the zipper cuff right there. These are from Adidas, size large, and there are three stripes on the side. If you can see that, it's really cool. It's like this metallic effect, but it almost looks like fishing line. So they're a little bit fragile, but I think they're really cute and good size. Another really cute maxi dress. It's a beautiful yellow, kind of got that fold over top right there and it's got that ruffle that big ruffle kind of hen right there this is from asos and it's got this cute tie back too um let's see here asos you know i love selling this brand especially larger sizes this is a size 12 so perfect timing great size super cute this should should move fast. Another really great summer top. This is Madewell size small. This is a newer style from 2020, I think. Let's see. If you don't know, in Madewell and J. Crew pieces, they have this tag, the small tag underneath them, and that will give you the style name and the season it came out. So yeah, this came out in spring 2020. This is another airy piece. This is just like a space dye, kind of fleecy, oversized, long sleeve loungewear, um, extra large. I will probably be keeping this. I love these pieces by them. They're so comfortable just for around the house. This is a new favorite for bread and butter for me. This is Duluth Trading, size large. This is just like a jersey knit zip up hoodie. So good size and surprisingly there are no stains on it to be determined. I really am horrible at finding flaws until I photograph them. So if it doesn't make it to being listed, then I definitely overlooked something, but it looks really good to me. I think it's pretty clean. Okay. So this is my second to last, I think Lululemon piece. This one also has the rip tag in it still size four. This is just like an older style tank. And it's got the drawstring at the bottom. So I think, so I have seven, eight, nine. I think I found 10 pieces of Lululemon that day. That's the most I've ever found in one day. This really cute one shoulder ruffle kind of shift dress, textured material cut in. This is from Cloth and Stone, size small. I don't think this was an anthropology piece, but I still like picking up this brand regardless. It does have a following. This is another brand I like to say I don't like picking up unless it's a size large or bigger, but this is soft surrounding. This is a size medium. I got this because it was just, there's just a lot going for it. It's like that kind of soft Jersey Terry knit, cowl neck, cute pearlized buttons, pocket, kangaroo pocket, and it's got roll tab sleeves. And for, you know, it's white and there's, as far as I could tell, there is absolutely no staining on it. Okay, this is my last Lululemon piece. This is an older style tank. This bottom part is like a tensile material and this is a size four as well. There is the logo. So yeah, another $15 sale for this one. Okay, and I did get some bras. So this first one, really pretty coral lace wired bra is from the brand Wacol and it is a great size 34 triple D which is a 34 F so I believe Wacol has a very solid following so I'm excited to get this one listed great condition it's really pretty and a super great size I lied I have two more Lululemon pieces I forgot about these 
I found two of these seamless molded cup sports bras. The crossback, I'll have to look up the style. There is the logo and they are both a 32E. So super great size too. So I found two of those. And then lastly, I found this really cute, seamless, kind of no wire molded cup still bra from NYX by NYX Wear. There is the tag and it is a size eight. So I believe size eight is for anybody with the band size of 40 and up. So super great size too. So that is everything, all of my haul. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, happy thrifting.